It's a moment that's years in the making. We need to make sure that uh, you know the performance characteristics of that test um, meet our standards and have high quality. Research scientist Sonia Laulu has been working with the team at ARUP Laboratories to offer a test that detects Alzheimer's disease pathology. Amyloid PET imaging and then, you know, CSF. That excludes those invasive features. A lot of people don't want to go to the doctor and have to give a spinal tap to have a sample that is sent to the laboratory. With the newly launched PTAU 217 blood test. They can just go and get a simple blood draw and have that sent in. It makes seeing the signs potentially much simpler. I think she was in her 70s when they started notice, noticing the cognitive decline. The project is one that Laulu holds close to her heart. I'll never forget when I went to go visit her in Hawaii and I looked at her face and she didn't know who I was. Her paternal grandmother was among millions of Americans who have suffered with Alzheimer's. So in her mind, every sample is a person. While this is a big step forward when it comes to detection, these experts also say it's just one of several you should take when it comes to risk reduction. Are you sleeping eight hours a night? How are you eating? What are you doing? Are you staying socially active? Are you physically active? The test is designed for those age 60 and older. Jeremy Cunningham with the Utah chapter of the Alzheimer's Association notes they can be combined with new FDA approved treatments. And it's really important to work with your doctor to figure out a solution for your health. They're advancements which give them hope for the future of fighting this disease. And one of the ways that it impacts the state so deeply is we have an aging population. And they give them the chance to better support that population, no matter what their struggle may be. To determine, is it Alzheimer's or could it be another disease that's causing memory loss is phenomenal.